hi everyone welcome back in this react just video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can write the simple test case and how we can set up the gest with the react so let's get start so first question is why we use the gest gest is a framework for uh, testing of the web apps we can say that or we can use uh, we can test the mobile app also which is written in the javascript so now let's get start with the code so first of all just open the official website of the chest which is the uh, you can write here chest test you can write whatever it will open the chest official website which is a chest js.io all right so all right so first of all you can see that uh, I have the app.js file and I want to write a very simple test case for this then what I have to do for this so the step we have to do is first of all we have to install the npm mod uh, just npm module then we have to install react test render yes this is also required for the react testing uh, third thing is write a simple case and fourth thing is run your test case that's it that is for basic steps so now just start with that so first of all uh, guys if you are not fam too much familiar with the jest then don't worry i'll tell you the basic thing that is uh, good for you to start with the jest okay so in a jest uh, just open the first case so that you can i'll tell you the basic thing in the test case we will write something like this so which this is the test function you can put it the whatever name like the test describe it whatever you want to put and you can write the function description or title we can say that and this is the uh, arrow function and here we will expect expect means what we are expecting the uh what this is expecting the input and it's what it should be so like 2 plus 2 should be uh, to be 4 that means so this is our test case line and if we are right here 3 uh, then just run it and it will see that 2 plus 2 is 4 not 3 then it will the test case is fail all right so now just go with the uh, react just so first of all we have to install the uh, just so you can use it with the yawn or you can use it with the npm so i have npm installed now so i'm going to with the npm so just right here npm install save dev test all right it will take just some moments so just after that you can directly go up with the framework guidelines so testing react apps so you can click here all right so i'm just waiting to install it all right so after that we just install a jest all right then after we have to install uh, the react test render so now we can install it npm install react test render you can see that this is also given in the official documentation also so if you want to copy from here you can do it, do it also so now you can see that uh, our json file will be look like this so uh, just open the json file so here you can see that uh, we have the dash render version and where is just actually yes this is the dev dependency just is this one so all right so now you can run npm uh, npm start for now so you can see that is it working fine or something else is happening so let's check so you can see that it's running fine here so there is no effect on development or core code so after that uh, you can already seen here is the app.test.js is here so you can create your own file like uh, um, xyz dot test dot js but the test dot js means it's simply prediction like that this is a test file of your component so basically if you have a component like uh, sign in then the test case for this 
will be better than sign in dot test dot js all right so you can i'm going to delete it first of all so uh all right so i can remove this also so these are okay we don't need to remove this all right so these are the basic requirement we need the uh, just in the react in the uh, test file we need dom also and after that uh, i import my test component here this is my test component and i import it in the test file and after that i need one more thing here i need to import the render also import render from from my react test render all right so now we can start the right of a test case for that i'm going to write here test and my um, whatever i'm but i'm going to do it i'm going to write a test snapshot case so what is the basically snapshot case and if you are going to see in the official documentation these also are doing the snapshot cases here so what is the snapshot case will do snapshot case is the basic uh, testing fundamental basic testing thing and here we will check that is our any changes happening in the uh, our component so like uh, when i write this component and after that i am going to write a snapshot and after that uh, whenever i am going to change something in file like uh, hello and i am going to run again test case then it will tell you that that this change is going to happen in this file uh, do you really want to change this or not so like it will it will take the image of your uh, earlier code then if you update your code then it will going to match the both of code and tell you what is the difference between the past code and the next code so uh, why it will tell you that maybe you did some changes by mistakely or the uh, unwanted changes here then it will tell you that uh, this is a compare between the last and new code and if you want to take the new code then you can put the u uh, you can press the simply u keyword and it will update the test case so let's see it with the example so for test case i'm going to write uh, i'm going to describe my test like um, snapshot test with in the second parameter i'm i have to take a, a arrow function and in this arrow function i'm going to take a const like tree you can take the variable whatever you now want to take equal to renderer dot create and here you can pass your app tag that means app component here you can pass it dot to json that means it will parse your component and it will convert it into the json so if you want to take the console i'll tell you that what's what it will change uh, what it will print your component like this so okay so we will uh, do it later we will check it but first of all i'm going to write the test case so what i am expecting i am expecting tree it will expect the tree and two snapshot match to match snapshot all right now just try to run this case for the run the test case you have to simply write here npm okay so now you can see that there is a two things is happening one thing is uh, one snapshot test uh, written in the one test suit it will pass already that's fine and what is we get in the log so you can see that we have a type of div we have the prop uh, probes name equal to the app and we have the children too 
one is the header and uh, another one is the p tag so you can see that all everything is here we have a div here which is a props name app of the class name you, you oh, everything is here you can see that so we can get everything of the file with the uh, render because it will render your all component so all right second thing is you can see that there is one snapshot is written here app dot test dot js dot snapshot so this is your snapshot basically which is written by the test case so if i'm going to run it once again then what's going on so just run it once again then it will again pass your test case because we don't change it anywhere so you can see that we it passed the uh, test case so now you can remove it so it's not useful for now so let's say uh, you will uh, see the shorten code in the command prompt now okay so you can see that test case passed test uh, timings and all these things are here and here if press p to filter the file name press t to filter this thing and these things are here so let's say now i'm going to write here a welcome test jest so now just try to run again once again so now in this case you will see that our test case is going to be fail why i'll tell you that now you can see that the one snap show test failed in one suit why because in the earlier snapshot we have welcome to test but in this snapshot we have welcome to the react jest so it is telling to us basically that uh, you have changed something in your code if you want to take it you can simply press it u otherwise uh, if you want to quick quit then you can click q but we did change with you uh, because we want to do it then i can simply press the u and it will see that our test case is passed here and it will update the test case also so you can see that it will update the test case just so basically you can say that it's kind of versioning system so it will take the uh, last version and compare with the latest version if we have some changes it will tell you and whatever you do want to do it it's your your code so this is the basic uh, test case behind the react jest framework so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box you can ask me on the facebook page link is given in the description box and if you want to take the uh, github uh, link this is also given in the description box thanks guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment thanks guys thanks for watching this